Lucas Hood. One time sheriff, part time mountain man, and now the primary suspect in three homicides. It's a hell of a resume. Sheriff Lotus told me you don't talk much. Well, maybe I just don't talk to him much. He also told me about Deputy Kelly. You two were a couple at the time of her death. God, losing a deputy and a lover in one fell swoop. That must have been tough. I've been there. My husband, Paul. He was leading a tactical operation. Some low-level terrorist we could lean on to get us some bigger fish. By the book, reach and arrest. He had the perp face down and zip tied, but in walks the guy's 13-year-old nephew holding a Glock 9. Paul could have dropped him in a heartbeat. I mean, who can't outshoot a kid, right? But instead, he tried to talk him down. I guess that kid didn't feel like talking. He shot Paul in the neck. Killed him instantly. You've been doing this a while. <laughs> Long enough. Long enough to know that the fake husband story is not going to work on someone like me. So either you think I'm an idiot, or you wanted me to call you on it. What, so that I would feel like I'm in control? Seeing as we both know that's not true, why don't you cut the bullshit and ask me what you want to ask? Okay. Did you kill Rebecca Bowman? No. Well, that was easy. I so appreciate your cooperation, Mr. Hood. You're welcome. I'm sure we'll meet again. I'm guessing you don't have a lot of pals down at the Bureau. You know a lot about the FBI, do you? No, not really. But I know a little something about burnouts. Yeah. I'll bet you do. He didn't do it. Really? You decided that in five minutes? No, I decided that in about two. <laughs> the evidence... The evidence is shit, and you know it. The evidence isn't shit. It's circumstantial. Cut him loose. Not yet. Why? Because the minute we release him, it's gonna try to find Bowman's killer on his own. And I'd like a little bit of a head start. For the record, I also knew that your husband's story was bullshit. Mm.